Good evening guys, how you doing? DJ AJ here. 101 and antenna test between these two iPhones, between this one right here on the right which is the iPhone 4, this one on the left here which is the 4S. And the only way you can tell that is because this one's sitting on top of the black box which is the iPhone 4 box, this one's sitting on top of the white box which is the uh, 4S box right there and uh, right there. Anyways, enough of this mumble jumble garbage. Uh, like um, a lot of people have pointed out excuse me for Roman tripod, people have pointed out when uh, you have the iPhone on uh, at least the 4 anyway, as I will demonstrate here, if you kind of grip it with your left hand, as you can see right here, and if you just look at the antenna bars up here on the top, even on the Verizon iPhone, it will lose signal, which I'm going to demonstrate to you right now. I'm holding it. Nothing out of the ordinary, I'm just holding it. Not a tight grip. And as you guys can see, it kind of calculated the bars and just went straight down. And now, of course, we lost 3G and we're down to one bar. I've never actually gotten it in uh, my house anyway because I have around three to four bars. It's not the worst reception but it's decent. It's not full bar. It's not full reception by any means. But as you guys can see, it goes all the way down. We're on kind of like the slower network. We're not 3G on Verizon anymore. It's down to one bar. I've seen it go to extended. I've never actually seen it lose signal completely but I think the lowest I've ever seen is right there. Extended uh, coverage but no 3G and I don't know if it's gonna go all the way down to no service but um, as you guys can see I'm just just gripping the phone nothing special just holding it went back up to Verizon so it'll kind of flake between um, extended and Verizon native uh, coverage at least on the phone which is decent and of course I'll let it go because I've never actually gotten it um, any any more down than I guess one one bar because Verizon's, Verizon's been much better than AT&T. AT&T I could get to no service. So Verizon has a little bit better coverage. But as you can see, we're back up to three bars, which it was at originally. Sometimes I get four um, up here. But um, anyways, this has been the four. Now, let's try the same test. Phones are wobbling over the place. With the F4S, we'll turn it on here. Of course, we'll slide to unlock it. And of course, the exact same design on the phone exact same spot and we'll grip it okay and now we'll go up to here to check out the bars still holding at three we'll give it 20 seconds or so to see if it loses any but in my tests it um I've yet to drop a call on this thing I've only dropped about less than a handful on my on my four but then again I'm not left-handed so I just wanted to prove um, you know, this is uh, kind of a test for people that hold it in their left hand and kind of cover up that weak spot that was, you know, right down here in the four. Well, we're down to two bars, so it did drop one. And like I said, I don't have great coverage here in my house, so we may be covering up a little bit of the antenna. We just dropped another. Can we get down to extended coverage? I think that's going to be the big question. Because I don't know if the problem is completely fixed, especially, I mean, my case is probably the best case scenario because I don't live right next to a cell tower or in, you know, like a, like a, the best part of the city where you can actually get great uh, coverage and not lose signal. Um, we just took it off 3G, but it jumped back up to 3 bars. But I don't think it's going to go down any lower than 2, even off 3G. This antenna is definitely better designed than the other one. Um... If we can get it down to extend it, I'd be very, very shocked. But we'll continue to look at it. Don't want to make this video too long. I see it's already about four minutes long, so we're down to one bar. Are we going to get the exact same thing with the uh, with the four? Like I said, we're we're pretty much in the exact same kind of coverage area. I mean, a lot of people aren't in the best coverage area. You know, they have at least three, two to three bars in their home, unless you're living right on top of a cell phone antenna you know, a cellular tower. We haven't hit extended yet, and I don't know if we are. But we hold at one bar, no 3G, on a on the Verizon network. We're not on a, we're not roaming or anything. Well guys, I don't know if we're gonna get it down. I mean I've been been holding it like this for a bit. It hasn't changed. But I think this should actually be pointed out that I don't think the problem has ever been really resolved. I think the antenna switching that is in right here in this 4S 
um, is definitely a little bit better. You know, that'll switch back and forth between the right and the left antenna, depending on what hand you're holding it in. But I don't think there's ever a way to completely, like Steve Jobs had said, completely eliminate antenna blocking with your hand, simply because you are going to block part of the antenna depending on where the antenna is and uh, contrary to your hand, how you're holding it. Um, but the problem does still exist. I mean, if you live in an area where you're probably getting two or less bars, I can only imagine that you probably go down to almost nothing. I mean, I've got almost nothing here, but I'm sure you'd be on extended coverage if you were on Verizon. But anyways, guys, I can't get it. I've been holding it like this for a long time. But it's it's basically dropped on the one bar, and I'm sure, as you guys will see, it'll, it'll probably go back up. I see it's back on 3G. It's back to two bars, and it's back to three bars. Um, sorry about the lighting. <laughs> lighting kind of went a little funky. But um, anyways, guys, uh, just to prove that the antennas are a little bit better in the 4S than they are in the 4, because, of course, in the 4, we actually got the extended coverage. It probably would have almost dropped um, in any other case. But... Um, just to show you that, hey, you know, the, t the antennas are just redesigned just a little tiny bit, but they're not, you know, don't necessarily eliminate the problem completely. There's always going to be some degrade in cellular reception, uh, depending on how you hold your phone. Um, but anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. I just wanted to do this test for you guys just to prove that, you know, just to see what would happen. Of course, to prove that the antennas are still kind of the same, and you do still lose some reception really depending on where you live and uh, like I said in my case we get average cell phone reception at best you know two three bars four bars maybe at times maybe if you're not holding it um, but anyways leave me comments let me know what you think let me know if you've had any problems with this antenna as well I'd love to hear from you guys and of course rate comment subscribe to me if you like my content that always helps me out and I'll definitely be bringing you more videos between the iPhone 4 and the 4s anyways guys I'll see you in my next video have a good one till then